Christina Vines. None of our moms are here, as you can hear. All we need from the audience is a suggestion of an object, any object. Thank you. Glass eye. <laughs> It's a glass eye. It's hazel. So nobody can really tell what color it is. But it's got a big black pupil. And it, the pupil pulses. No one's still quite sure what the liquid is. It could be water. It could be saliva. It could be ice sweat. It smells like ice sweat. <laughs> There's something transfixing about it. These are eyes you can trust. These are eyes that see the truth. It sits in that glass thing for Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I'm the ophthalmologist with the glasses behind it. On a red pillow that's made of satin. And each time it drips, you know you have one last day. <laughs> There's something transfixing about the whole thing. You just can't stop staring at it, even though it's really creepy. <laughs> it keeps pulsing. <laughs> Don't stop. You don't want the glasses. You want the glass eye. <laughs> John lost his eye three years ago. <laughs> and his red has a pretty strong. He wears an eye patch now. But he's hoping to get a glass eye soon. His eye patch doesn't have a strap, so he just holds it on. <laughs> <laughs> he pretty much relies on the right side of his body to do everything now. He actually uses the fact that he has a glass eye as a come on to women. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Some people need both halves of their body. Me? I do fine with one. <laughs> This pulse on. Yeah, 
song. Full song. Full song, baby. Full Into the it. universe. Those echoes going out everywhere. Everywhere. Oh. I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs>
When you see love at first sight, it's hard to just remove yourself. You know? <laughs> Things move fast in yeah. the digital age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, does, what does Destiny say? It's a trap. <laughs> Community. 